Hi everyone, so today I thought I would do a video on all of my DIY guinea pig toys and items. I also do have an older version of this video that I did a few months back so I'll link that down below. I decided to redo this video because you all seem to enjoy seeing the DIYs all in one video and also because I do DIY Friday which is where I upload a DIY video every Friday. I've got a kind of new collection of lots of DIYs that I thought I'd share with you in one video so I think I'll do these videos quite regularly so that you can see every so often all of them in one video so you might see some of the older DIYs in this video but um, also you'll see a lot of new ones and if you want to see the full video on the old ones then I'll of course like I said I'll link that down below so you can go and check that out okay so as you can see here are all of my DIY current DIY toys there are a lot of ones from my older video that are still here but there are also some that aren't here because I've had to get rid of them which is pretty easy to do when you can remake them because it's not going to cost anything but the guinea pigs seem to really love them so they do chew them down to nothing so there are some things you might recognize and some things that you might not so because there is such a large pile of DIY toys here, obviously you can't really see everything very clearly. I'm only going to go through things quickly to show you what they are and everything because t video tutorials on each and every toy are all in my playlist, DIY pets. So you can go ahead and look at them if you need to know how to make them, what I used and things like that. So I'm going to split these off into smaller groups so that I can show you them a little bit more clearly. So here are all of my current lollipop chews. These are really easy to make and to adapt to different themes. I've got my kind of refresher type lollies here. I like really like these ones because they're super cute. Then I've got my standard type lollies. So I've got a St. Patrick's Day one, I've got just normal lollipops. I've got a frozen one here. And then I've got a minion one. This is probably one of my favorites. It was really easy to make, but it did take a bit of time. And then I've got a Welsh one here. I've also got a rocket shaped one just here. Then I've got my Piggy Pops, which are obviously circular lollipops. And these are also really easy to make and look really cute in a cage. I then have my donut chews. So these are just really simple chews and they also really like these. This is actually a hanging one. So I just threaded um, string through it and a hook on the end and it's just three hanging donuts. I then have some more food type items. These are probably my favorite type of thing to make because they look so adorable. So I've got a little cake chew, I've got a watermelon, a couple of pizza slices. I've got a bourbon biscuit at the back here. I've got a cheese wedge and also a little carrot just here. I then have some Easter egg or Easter themed toys and these are obviously Easter eggs but they can be used for other things too. So I've got a couple of just random eggs and then of course I had to go ahead and do the Cadbury's cream egg and a Kinder Surprise chew. So these toys here are actually more of a toss around toy, especially these three here. These aren't chew toys, they're just toss around toys and you rabbits in particular love these but the guinea pigs really like them too. So I've got a couple of natural ones at the back here that they can of course chew and then I've got one made of bottle caps and a couple made of buttons. I then have my dumbbell rollers. I make large ones of these and miniature ones. These are a huge favourite with the guinea pigs as you can already tell here. They absolutely love them and I can do them in a selection of colours and I always tend to do polka dots because I think they look really cute. I then just have a random selection of chews. So I've got a little kind of play block chew. This is my ice cream van so this is a obviously an ice cream van it looks like that and it rolls and you can put I know this isn't an ice cream but you can put the ice creams in the top and they seem to really like that one actually so I then have my um, St. Patrick's Day hanging toy here I've got a little hanging toy made of little wooden toy type blocks I've got a Welsh flag back there this is the piggy polo this is one of my original DIYs of course I had to make a TARDIS this is a heart from Valentine's Day and I then have my own version of Woody the Caterpillar for anyone who can't get hold of a Woody the Caterpillar, you can always make your own. This is a little camera and <laughs> it doesn't look much like a camera but they seem to like it so that's all that matters. I've got a little flag back here that I can customise if I want to. A couple of treasure chests, they really like these and they're great for kind of pirate themes and things like that 
another one of my favourites I've got my Harry Potter book and I've got a Mr Earth here I then have some toys made of willow sticks you can get willow sticks pretty much anywhere and you can cut them down and make them into whatever you like so this is a willow ladder it's just a hanging toy I've got a couple of Doctor Who items here these are sonic screwdrivers not great but it was still super fun to make and these are willow ones of course related to Harry Potter they're just willow sticks painted to look like wands and I also have these little throw around chew toys the guinea pigs absolutely love these and I think they look adorable I like to put beads on them so that they give them that extra little toy and they really like these they're actually well chewed but I just repaint them until I can't repaint them anymore and they're really light as well so for younger guinea pigs they're great but you can make them to whichever size you want them so just here I have got some cardboard toys I use all sorts to make toys so I've got some canine it's a, like a mobile thing I've got a jukebox here these are treasure maps I've got um, potter pegs these are just Harry Potter characters painted onto wooden clothes pegs I've got a golden snitch and this has just been made out of the safe wooden ball and some cardboard and then I've got a dish and this wasn't my original idea but this is just a watermelon dish and this was my first attempt and I'm quite pleased with it it's just for treats and things and it's safe again I've got a little palm tree here this is one of my favorites actually because it's super easy to make I think it looks really good and the guinea pigs like it and then I've just got a little boat just here I then have these plastic tubes and these were just bought from B&Q in a pack of two and they were super cheap and the perfect size for guinea pigs and I've just decorated them using some patterned gaffer tape and I think they look really nice but this isn't my original idea but um, the guinea pigs love these and they're so easy to wipe and clean as well and I then have one of my DIY houses now I have lots of DIY houses and I featured most of them in my previous video which of course will be linked in the description box but um, I'm only going to show this one because I've showed those already but um, this is completely DIY and it's actually already been recycled three times so it used to be a house and these parts were the roof of the house so the house got a little bit grotty and I'm recycling that into something else but the roof I have screwed together using these metal L brackets and it's worked really well and they loved it and it was just a natural colour but then of course that started to get grotty as to most things with animals so I decided to paint it for a theme and of course it's Doctor Who themed so I decided to use all my pet safe paints to paint a TARDIS on one side and I'll switch it over and show you the other side in a second and so here is the other side and of course um, I had to put a Dalek and a canine on there because it is Doctor Who themed as are some of my other toys but um, I've got quite a few of these houses all with different themes I've got one frozen one and I've got a Christmas type cottage house so don't forget to check out my other video if you haven't already because then you can see the different paintings I've got on them and the different style of houses that I've made so those are all of my current DIY guinea pig items and toys. I really hope you've enjoyed this and it's given you some ideas. Don't forget to check out the older version of this video because it does have a few different toys and especially houses because there are a few DIY houses that I've made that I've featured in that but I haven't featured in this because obviously I've already shown them. So I've got like a frozen house and a Christmas house. So it might give you a few ideas so I'll link that down below and you can also click the screen now to go ahead and look at that. You can also subscribe to the channel to obviously get some more videos and have a look at my DIY Pets playlist which has all of my DIY videos in it and there's quite a few now. So thank you so much for watching, remember to like and comment if you did enjoy it and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.